It's not a stretch to say Candace Ahmed has taken the reins from her own starting gate. When I was born, my mom had like this backpack thing and she just put me in there, so I've been riding my entire life. I didn't always have a babysitter for her, so I was like, all right. So you'd strap her in the backpack, hop on one of our old reliable horses and move cattle. A sidekick for chores is now the main event. But Candace doesn't exactly saddle up. She bucks the trend. When I was seven, there was a movie called Cowgirls and Angels, and that uh, has trick riding in it. And when I watched it, I decided I wanted to try it. Yeah, it's on third grader, right here on good old Dusty. Oh, yeah. Well, you kind of think, okay, that's maybe not the best idea, but she was always a very good rider, and I also didn't want to be the parent that when she was 20, 30 years old, we'd be sitting at some gathering, and she'd say, you know, I always wanted to do that, and you never let me. Her mission was granted, and now Candace has the freedom to horse around. There's a lot of tricks that I do. Um, I kind of like to think that each of my horses have a different tricks that they're better at. Candace and her trio of tricksters, Devilina, Dusty, and Spirit, travel across the country, performing at rodeos and other family-friendly events. Everyone, please welcome to the arena Candace Hobbit, our crazy cowgirl trick rider. It's one of two things. Either the crowd is really loud and they cheer a lot and they're like, ah, or they're very quiet because they're so stunned. She's riding Dusty right here. It's the one foot stand. Look at the balance on the galloping horse as she comes around. Some of them, they'll just be sitting there and they'll be like, oh, wow. And others, uh, it's easier to get them to like clap and cheer and stuff. Let's put our hands together for the young lady. The accolades and adoration are the byproduct of a stable routine. And Candace is certainly committed to her craft. It takes a lot of practice. I've been doing it for seven years and I still have more I can improve on. And you have to be very much a perfectionist about it because you're doing things that are really um, riding right on the edge, safety-wise. You know what I mean? You're pushing the envelope. And yet the pull of the reins is exactly what's reined Candace in day after day. She gets to practice year round. And it is not heated, so it does get cold in the winter, but at least you're off the snow and ice. Hey, and jump! And really, that's what's been kind of a turning point for her in her trick riding career, I guess you could say, is the fact that she can practice year round. It's become so routine, it's just muscle memory now. Whether it's weathering the temperatures in the barn or raining in the sunset of a hot summer night, there's no doubt what Candace Ahmed does is pretty cool. She just loves to ride. She loves to do it. She loves the tricks. I think it's just a feeling she has when she's riding and doing it. I'd like to keep doing it as long as I can. She's just got a bold personality when it comes to that, and she has a good rapport with animals in general and understanding them and I think you have to have that to work together as a team. Nicely done, cowgirl. All right, David, that is amazing for one thing. And yes. she's, she's at rodeos as an entertainer. Does she enter other rodeo events while she's there? Yeah, I mean, she does other things besides trick performances. Right. She does 4-H rodeo, junior high rodeo. Some of the events she does, she does barrel racing, she does pole bending. She does goat tying, so safe to say that no matter what she does, she's pretty comfortable on a horse. Will that lead maybe into a career involving horses and animal science for her? Yeah, as you might expect with someone who's grown up on a farm, she wants to be a veterinary technician one day. And what's interesting is that, you know, me being a novice in all this, I kind of asked her, is, is what you're doing, you know, hurting the horse? And both her and her mom said, you know, just like a human athlete, horses are trained to perform and the horse is comfortable. But it brought me back to something her mom said at the very end of the story. Candace just has a certain rapport with these animals. She knows them, she understands them. And so if she wants to be a vet tech one day, I have no doubt that that compassion will suit her. All right, thanks a lot, David Brown.
This has been Midco Sports Magazine presented by Build Your Base with Beef Sports Nutrition and Training Program.